everybody loves bubbles, but what makes bubbles form and float up into the air until they pop? For today's lesson, we will be conducting an experiment called Bubbleology. What do you need to make a good bubble solution at home? The basic ingredients are water and detergent. In this experiment, you will add glycerin or corn syrup to see if they can help you make better bubbles. Which solution makes the biggest bubbles? Which bubbles will last the longest? This is my student, Heather Paris. She will be mixing solution number one today. Okay, in solution number one, we have a cup of water. One tablespoon of water. Means of detergent. Liquid detergent. <laughs> and then you mix it together and we're going to take it outside and test our bubbles. This is trial one of solution one. Okay, so now we're taking solution number one, and I'm going to dip my pipe cleaner in the solution and try to catch a bubble and blow a bubble and catch a bubble. I think our pipe cleaner may be too big. <laughs> oh gosh, guys. <laughs> Trial two was also unsuccessful. This is trial three of solution one. We're gonna cheat. Yeah. I don't think we have any. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got this bubble. <laughs> well, obviously her solution. I mean. Uh... Solution two. Okay. Solution two is a cup of water, two tablespoons of dish detergent, liquid, Glycerin. Okay, I'm going to start this up with our, with our bubble solution, and this is trial one of solution two. Three 
solution to. Learning, and today she will be mixing solution three for us. Okay, in solution three, there's one cup of water, two tablespoons of joy <laughs> liquid, <laughs> and Mm. <laughs> now we're going to stir it all together and go outside and see if I can make some bubbles. Try <laughs> one of solution three. Second. <laughs> one second bubble for trial one solution three. Out to the solution three. a 12 second bubble for trial 3 solution. Gus, what do you think our, about our bubbleology experiment today? Didn't seem to be too successful, huh? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, as our results show, we had not much luck with the first solution, um, even less luck with the second solution, and the third seemed to work the best. It wasn't a real winner, but it seemed to work the best out of all three. Um, the things to keep in mind while completing your experiment are the fact that your wand may need cleaning between each solution, the wind outside can affect where your bubbles fly to, um, the amount of solution you put in to create your mixture. So sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It's an experiment. <laughs> Yay, bubbleology!